unfortunately, the skills I've been working on to be a comic artist translated into working a game studio. So that huh. kicked me off down a trajectory of working in games. I worked on uh, GTA 3 on the Xbox SKU. I uh, did all sorts of stuff with Time Wars. Um, and then I ended up meeting a chap called Duncan Jones at a games company um, called Elixir Studios, which is gone now. Um, and we ended up becoming mates. He was at film school, he wanted to do film stuff. I was just doing all of his VFX and stuff. We ended up like um, moving in together and flat sharing. And I was just like this sort of, you know, obsessive artist working at home all the time, just, you know, just trying to mm. do cool stuff, basically. He was making his student films. I was doing all of his visual stuff. And we just ended up becoming, uh, just becoming mates and just working on everything together. So we ended up living together for 10 years, uh, trying to make a film. We had a couple of false starts, but eventually we made Moon. I mean, that, that whole project just came from us sort of kicking around our flat, really feeling like we were never going to get anywhere and being quite, quite feeling like quite desperate about our careers and just being like, what can we do? Mm-hmm. You know, how do we get this done? And we came up with Moon. So we just, Moon was born from us talking about what, what our limitations were and how restrictive we were with things. And um, yeah, we got Moon made. So working on Moon, I did so much work on Moon. Like I was, you know, I designed it all, did all the graphic design, motion graphics. I even did stunts and stuff in the film. I was just around everything, um, just mm-hmm. making sure it got done right. Like myself and Duncan, like, I was like the kind of art side of his brain, really, if you kind of think of it like that. Excuse me, that gave me the confidence to have a go at doing it myself. So I thought, yeah, when we finished Moon, Duncan moved out to LA and he was trying to get me to go out with him, but I had just met a girl that I really liked, so I stayed in London. And fortunately now, um, we have a, a little girl of our own together, um, who's actually in our car. Strangely enough. So um, everything comes full circle. So yeah, that put me down um, <clears throat> put me down a road to um, doing it myself. So it's all just about sort of self-empowerment, really. It was just about me getting an idea together, figuring out how to get it made. So let's talk about that um, and, and dig into sort of archive. Um, how did you make that transition? As you were going through like an example, if you're going through Moon, you're working on other projects, did you start to just let people know, hey, I am also want to be a director? Um, did you, what were those steps to actually going from, you know, visual artist and, and making that next step to being the, the director and the writer on this project? Well, I'm quite shy about my art in a sense because I learned quite early on that the people that tend to talk about their work are the people that aren't really doing that much work. So I prefer to talk about work once I've finished it. So I only really mm-hmm. talk about work in progress when I kind of have to. Like, occasionally you have to try and do something to raise a profile of something. But like right now, like, you know, on Twitter, I'm just talking about archive constantly because I'm, I'm trying to kind of lift it as much as I can because we're like a, a week away mm-hmm. from the release at the moment. And um, I think one of the things, too, that I would definitely want to mention about this is you're going to have to have two jobs. I mean, that's what I've done. I mean, even now, I have two jobs. Like, Archive's about to be released, and I have another job that I'm working Mm -hmm. right now. So I am a film director and a film writer, but right now that's not paying my bills. What's paying my bills now is doing concept art for Star Citizen in the games industry. You know, I've been working with those guys for the last, like, six years, and they're a wonderful team, and everyone gets on great, and it's brilliant. But you know, I need to have another job. So I basically have to spend all my time working to get this stuff done. Thanks for checking out this clip from the Selling Your Screenplay podcast. If you'd like to hear the full interview, just go to sellingyourscreenplay.com slash podcasts. Or to go directly to the episode, just use the link in the show notes. Thanks for watching.